Okay, so I'm making this video for someone who commented under one of my recent videos where I talked about some connections between Albert Einstein, Stephen Hawking, and Galileo. Talked about the sun, the moon, and the earth, their supposed diameter, the distance between the moon and the earth, and the earth and the sun. I talked a lot about the number 108. I talked about how the word geometry has a geometrial value of 108. At a few points, I showed the image of a pentagon, a regular pentagon, whose interior angles each equal 108. So there's five angles times the 108. You can see off to the left, there's a picture of a regular pentagon. Each angle is 108 degrees. There's five of them, so that equals a total of 540. So it just so happens that the word dodecahedron equals 540, with the reverse caps added. Now you have to use all capital letters in this example for this to work. But I think it's legit. So and this is what I do, and I've noticed many times... It's a very appropriate value. So dodecahedron with this particular cipher, the reverse caps added, equals 540. And looking at a regular pentagon, 540 degrees divided by the five angles, you get that 108. So I think the 108 in my previous video was partly why this person left this comment. And I apologize, I forgot your name. Your comment was ghosted because of the links. I did get the links. Uh, I'm taking a little slice of that Randall Carlson video there um, where he talked about the dodecahedron. Now, dodecahedron, for some people, might not even know that term. They might just think of it as a 12-sided die. You ever play ro role-playing games, Dungeons & Dragons, whatever. Uh, maybe some other games. Uh, they call it a D12. Probably no relation to the M&M's uh, Marshall Mathers band there, D12. But the D12 is a 12-sided die. By the way, in all caps, those words, a 12-sided die. Well, that equals 648, just like dodecahedron equals 648. A 12-sided die is a dodecahedron. So, you have the 12 faces, the 12 sides, times the 540 degrees equals 6,480. One thing that inspired me when I was looking at the, um, watching the Randall Carlson presentation was that he talked about the processional cycle, the great year. And if you divide that into fourths, four seasons, the great year, divide it into four, each season is made up of 6,480 degrees or 6,480 years. And we drop the zero, and it's the 648. So just get a little sidetracked. Six hours, 48 minutes on a clock. That's a total of 408 minutes. So just so happens that if we use all capital letters and a cipher called capitals added, dodecahedron equals 408. You can see the cipher breakdown, these case-sensitive ciphers, the name has changed for some of us. I'm still getting used to it, but yeah, all capital letters in this example, dodecahedron equals 408. 408 minutes is equal to 6 hours 48 minutes. 6, 48. Using a cipher called reverse satanic, the word dodecahedron equals 648. Again, that's a, it's a 12-sided die. And notice that the total degrees 
is 6,480. Randall Carlson, he broke down the great year into seasons. Each season, 6,480 degrees or 6,480 years. Drop the zero, 648. The word geometry has double gematria, as Derek would put it, of 648 if we use the Sumerian ciphers. And I'll show the breakdown on the screen on, on the left. You'll see the Sumerian on the right. You'll see the reverse Sumerian. So the word geometry equals 648. And it's been said, it's worth repeating, that gematria, letters equals numbers, Gematria is geometry within language. And it just so happens if we use all capital letters, as I do sometimes, using the reverse caps to mixed. I don't like those names, sorry. But using all capital letters, geometry within language equals 648. Sacred geometry with the satanic cipher. You can see the cipher breakdown in the middle of the screen. The words sacred geometry equals 648. In his presentation, Randall said that polygons are the alphabet of sacred geometry. And towards the end of the video, he actually brings up the topic of gematria and isopsophy. I don't remember if he actually used those, those terms, but he definitely gave words numerical values. I haven't watched a lot of his stuff, but um, I wonder if he knows about these English-based ciphers, where, you know, we use all capital letters, we can get dodecahedron equals 540, corresponding with the total amount of degrees on the face of a regular pentagon. The 648 with dodecahedron, and how it corresponds with the 6,480 degrees of the dodecahedron. You know, we talked about the processional cycle of the great year. I don't know too much about this stuff, but he divided the great year into four segments, four seasons, each 6,480. And he compared that with the dodecahedron. Each face is a regular pentagon. The pentagon is made of five angles. Each angle, the regular pentagon, is 108 degrees. So 108 minutes, this is something he pointed out, that 108 minutes is equal to 6,480 seconds. Right, and you can figure this out. How many seconds in a minute? Times 108. So you can see uh, in the middle of the screen, off to the right, I have a couple of clock faces. Off to the far right, there's the normal looking numbers, 12 at the top, 1 through 12 in a circle, just like a normal clock. Then you see the 108 times 5 times 12. And then to the left of that, you see a clock face, but with only fives. So this is what I thought of when I think of the clock. You know, the numbers are located at, you know, every five minutes there's a new number. And you think about the pentagon, it's five sides, five angles. Then there's 12 numbers, so five. And then the 12 faces of the dodecahedron. It's a 12-sided die, simply put. Each face or each side of the die is a regular pentagon. Five angles, 12 sides to the dodecahedron. And going back to that 5 and 12, 
right? Five minutes times 12, right? That's, you know, 60. That's 60 seconds in a minute. 60 minutes in an hour. But the 5 and the 12, this is called, this is stretch, but this is what I think of sometimes. Think of 5, 12 p.m., like 5, 12 in the afternoon, in the evening, whatever. Um, heading towards midnight. Till the end of the day, how many hours and minutes is it? Well, 5, 12 p.m. Well, there's your answer on the screen. If you're looking at the total amount of minutes, it's 408. Again, dodecahedron with all caps equals 408. And once again, 408 minutes is a total of 6 hours and 48 minutes. 648 like dodecahedron equals 648. And if you think about 648 p.m. or 6.48 in the evening or in the afternoon heading towards midnight, how much time is left? When it's 6.48 p.m., the amount of time left till the end of the day is 5 hours, 12 minutes like that. 5 times 12 is 60. 5 times 12 times 108 degrees gives us the total degrees of the dodecahedron. So, I'll probably leave it there. Maybe I'll add a few things. But shout out to that commenter. I wish I could remember your name. But thank you very much for that link. And yeah, shout out to Randall Carlson. I'll leave link, at least one link, the one that inspired this video.